Hello friends, let's take a look at the assembly of the Connecting Corners Quilt Block from the Blocks to Quilt series at the Sewing Loft. The pattern is available in two sizes, both a 12 inch and a 6 inch finished block. I've gone ahead and cut out all of my fabric for the 6 inch block, but you'll need to do some sub cutting. To get started, take your square and cut corner to corner. And then turn it and cut it again. With the sub cutting out of the way, it's just about assembly. Take your sub cut triangle, align it directly in the corner, and stitch right along the side. Repeat for all four pieces. With the triangle stitched in place, it's time to head over to the pressing station and press each piece. Now it's just about joining. We're joining our pieces together like this. With our seams pressed, we can match everything up and make sure that our seams are nested right at the center. Nesting those seams allows for a perfect center match every time. With everything pressed, it's time to trim our block to size. Now you can use your ruler, the lines on your ruler, and make sure that it is lined up perfectly from corner to corner. Using this rotating math makes everything so much easier. Okay, with our block cut down to size, it's time to add our last final details of the corner unit. We're going to stitch, align it in the corner and then stitch from corner to corner, turning it out. Okay, you're gonna do that on each size. So now if your pattern has a design on like mine, you may want to consider the direction of which it will go when it's all said and done. So since mine are little French Bulldogs, I want to make sure that they are all facing in the same direction so that when I stitch this together in a quilt, it'll be uniform. Trim away all your seam allowance after stitching and press. Give your block one more pass to trim it to size as needed. Sometimes those triangles get pushed a little bit far to the outside. And then that's it. Your block is finished.